Welcome to a closer look at Kia's latest and most innovative addition to their electric vehicle lineup, the Kia EV9. Get ready to embark on an exciting journey into the world of cutting-edge technology, stylish design, and exceptional performance. As we delve into the features and benefits of this game-changing electric vehicle, you'll discover why the Kia EV9 represents a bold step forward towards sustainable and eco-friendly driving. Whether you're a tech enthusiast eager to embrace the latest advancements, an environmentally conscious driver striving to minimize your carbon footprint, or simply someone who values convenience and elegance in your daily travels, the Kia EV9 has something extraordinary to offer for everyone. Join us as we take a deep dive into its incredible features, explore its sleek and captivating design, and uncover the range of benefits it brings to enhance your driving experience. Exterior and colors. There isn't anything bashful about the outside plan of the new Kia EV9 SUV, which effectively extends a significant number of the styling signals from the idea. Like the idea, the creation model has thick, square-shaped lines and a polygonal plan topic. On the off chance that the Kia Soul was a middle school understudy with a cool father, the EV9 would be that father. The particular profile is supplemented by perplexing lighting front and back. That incorporates the computerized tiger face with double groups of little 3D shape lights which are implanted in the bodywork close by every headlamp. The vast majority of the great stuff is still there, including the belt line that ranges up nearby the third line. Significant bumpers and flush-fitting entryway handles characterize the side view, yet the back-pivoted back entryways of the idea are clearly supplanted here with additional conventional back entryways. Modern 21-inch wheels are enveloped by Michelin tires, and these wheels have skew Kia logos, another idiosyncratic touch that somehow deals with the EV9. Kia takes note of that wheel choices range from 19-inch things the whole way to the 21-inch wheels we see here. The shutdown A points of support give the EV9 a drifting rooftop impact, and there is an energetic spoiler at the back. From the side, it's additionally eminent how short the shades are, leaving however much space as could be expected for the traveler compartment. Two models, one with a regular shut rooftop and one with double sunroofs, have been imagined. We likewise realize that the EV9 GT line gets raised rooftop rails, selective haggles, and model-explicit outside highlights. Interior and Cargo The changes to the interior of the production Kia EV9 are more significant than the exterior, but this is no surprise since the concept was quite bare inside. Seats in the Kia EV9 will be able to accommodate six or seven occupants depending on the trim or configuration, and the manufacturer promises lounge-like space in every row. Unlike most other three-row vehicles, there is more versatility here in terms of how the seats can be arranged. This capability is supported by the eGMP platform, which enables a flat floor and long wheelbase. Occupants in both the first two rows can recline their seats simultaneously but the swiveling second-row seats we saw in the concept won't make it to production models in the U.S. due to not meeting federal motor vehicle safety standards. The floating dashboard design is modern and clean, and the tasteful neutral colors used in the pictured model create an upmarket look. The manufacturer emphasizes the use of forward-thinking materials, including non-leather polyurethane seating, BTX-free interior trim, recycled fabrics, and animal-free products as options. Kia states that there are dual 12.3-inch touchscreens, which is unusual since the display ahead of the driver is typically not touch-enabled. These screens are integrated with a 5-inch segment display. However, hard controls for climate control and volume adjustment can be found below the air vents, and tri-zone climate control comes as standard. The EV9 can also be used as a power source, equipped with an integrated charging control unit and outlets to power external devices. A notable debut on the EV9 is the brand's LiDAR-based Advanced Highway Driving Assist and Lane Following Assist, which we assume will be optional and possibly standard on top trims. We know that Highway Driving Assist 2 will be available across the range. An extensive suite of safety features and driver assists will be standard, along with 10 airbags. In terms of cargo space, the Kia EV9 offers 20.2 cubic feet of standard cargo volume behind the third row and a maximum of 81.9 cubic feet when both rows are folded down. For reference, the similarly sized Telluride has 21 cubic feet of volume behind the third row. 
IKEA also highlights the spacious center console storage space. Dimensions Dimensions for the Kia EV9 include a length of up to 197.4 inches, a height of 70.1 inches, and a width of 77.9 inches. This puts it in the same size category as the Kia Telluride, although slightly longer. We assume that the concept's wheelbase measurement of 122 inches will be comparable to the production model. The curb weight starts at 5,093 pounds and goes all the way up to 5,886 pounds. Engine and Performance Although it has been confirmed that the EV9 will share the same electric global modular platform, eGMP, as the smaller EV6, it will be the first Kia model to utilize fourth-generation battery technology. It will be offered with two powertrain options, a standard 76.1 kWh battery delivering 215 horsepower to the rear wheels, or an optional upgrade to a 99.8 kWh battery available with either a single motor or a dual motor setup. The dual motor configuration provides 379 horsepower and 516 lb-ft of torque, as well as torque vectoring all-wheel drive. Specifications for the single motor setup have not been released yet, but Kia has confirmed that the most powerful dual motor configurations target a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 5 seconds. Base models might take almost twice as long to reach the benchmark sprint. While this may seem a bit disappointing for an electric vehicle, we appreciate that Kia has invested in a base model to keep the starting price more affordable. Additionally, the EV9 is designed as a family vehicle, not a sports car. The automaker has noted that there is a potential to tow up to 5,000 pounds available within the range, likely with the most powerful powertrain and all-wheel drive. This towing capacity is similar to that of the Telluride, but it will undoubtedly impact the EV9's range significantly. Range, charging, and battery life. The Idea EV9 guaranteed a scope of up to 300 miles, and Kia expresses that for the Creation EV9, the 99.8 kWh battery and single engine arrangement will match that. As of late spilled data proposed that the Creation EV9 will have a scope of somewhere in the range of 220 and 290 miles. So it's most likely the case that the double engine models will have a reach more in accordance with the previous figure. The battery can be recharged from 10 to 80% in less than 25 minutes, on account of its 800V electrical design. The EV6 has a similar most extreme charging speed yet requires a faster 18 minutes to get its battery from 10 to 80%. Obviously this is on the grounds that the EV9 will have a bigger battery. The IDEA EV9 has a hood vent channel region with a sunlight-based charger that can recover a modest quantity of energy. However, it's indistinct assuming that the creation variant will hold this usefulness. All things considered, weighty electric SUVs aren't particularly effective, as proven by the BMW 9's best MPG figure of 86 MPG e joined. The three-line Tesla Model X is a superior benchmark for Kia to go for the gold, 102 MPG e joined. How much does the EV9 cost? We estimate the EV9 to cost somewhere in the range of $56,000 and $73,000 depending on trim. Based on everything we saw, touched, and experienced, we'd say that's right on the money, which is also competitive with large three-row conventional SUVs. Over the past few years, Kia has quietly captured a growing market share by designing stylish and affordable cars that compete at a surprisingly high level. The Carnival, Sorento, Sportage, Telluride, Stinger, and EV6 all offer enticing alternatives to vehicles from Honda, Toyota, and Subaru. However, Kia has generally played the role of follower, not leader. It's improved on existing ideas, wonderfully so, but never really struck out on its own. When it launches, the EV9 could very well change that. In bringing the first mainstream three-row EV that's both stylish and hopefully priced within reason, Kia's certainly taking the lead. All the EV9 has to do is nail the finish.